The nervous system is divided anatomically into the central nervous system and peripheral nervous system. Within the CNS are the cerebrum, cerebellum, and spinal cord. Nerve axons, dendrites, and cell bodies that lie outside the CNS are the peripheral nervous system. More than 50 billion impulse conducting neurons are estimated to be in the CNS. These neurons are supported by non-impulse conducting glial cells. Three layers protect the brain and spinal cord. A thick and tough outer dura matter and more delicate arachnoid and pia matter. Seen in coronal section, dura attaches to the periosteum of the skull and houses blood vessels, nerves, and lymphatics. Arachnoid matter is a spiderweb-like network of connective tissue, and pia matter adheres to the CNS. Histologically, dura is a dense fibrous connective tissue of collagen and elastic fibers. Arachnoid is several layers of fibroblasts and collagen, and pia is a thin layer of flattened cells. Cerebrospinal fluid circulates in the subarachnoid space. The neuron is a polarized cell with a cell body, dendrites, and axon. Cell bodies range in size from 5 to 150 microns in diameter and contain a single nucleus and organelles including mitochondria, Golgi, and rough ER. Input to neurons occurs at synapses on dendrites or on cell bodies. Types of neurons include multipolar, with one axon and several dendrites, bipolar, with one axon and one dendrite, and pseudo-unipolar with one short process that bifurcates into an axon and dendrite. The cell body or soma of a neuron contains a large spherical euchromatic nucleus surrounded by cytoplasm or perikaryon. Seen to the right is a dendrite projecting from the soma. Surrounding the neuron are tightly packed neuron processes and parts of glial cells which are collectively termed neuropil. A capillary is seen adjacent to the soma. At higher magnification, the soma contains a wide variety of organelles including multilayered, rough, and smooth ER, mitochondria, multiple Golgi complexes, and lysosomes. A portion of the large euchromatic nucleus is seen at the bottom. Most synapses in humans involve chemical neurotransmitters, which are released from presynaptic terminals of one axon or dendrite into a synaptic cleft to affect receptors on the postsynaptic membrane of the target cell. Seen by TEM, vesicles fill the presynaptic terminal, and the postsynaptic membrane typically contains a thickened density. Various neurotransmitters include glutamate, epinephrine, norepinephrine, serotonin, and acetylcholine. In functional terms, two main types of synapses occur, excitatory and inhibitory. Glial cells outnumber neurons by at least 10 to 1 and make up more than 50% of the total volume of the brain and spinal cord. The four types of cells bear descriptive names, astrocytes, oligodendrocytes, ependymal cells, and microglial cells. The blood-brain barrier restricts indiscriminate access of certain substances in the bloodstream to the brain. It consists of capillary endothelial cells sealed by tight junctions and an overlying basement membrane. Endothelial cells have pinocytotic vesicles which participate in unidirectional transport of protein and fluids from blood to brain. Capillaries are covered by astrocyte and feet. They cover 85% of the surface of the basement membrane. Encephalitis is most commonly caused by viral infections that cross the blood-brain barrier. Myelin is an electrical insulator that increases conduction velocity of nerve fibers. In the PNS, it is formed by neural crest-derived Schwann cells. In the CNS, oligodendrocytes form myelin. Myelination begins in the third trimester and ends during early childhood. 
Schwann cells in the PNS are either myelinating or non-myelinating. While myelinating Schwann cells are associated with a single axon, non-myelinating Schwann cells collectively ensheath groups of small axons. In the CNS, oligodendrocytes can myelinate numerous axons. Seen schematically, the plasma membrane of an oligodendrocyte tightly wraps around axons and forms the myelin sheath. Nodes of Ranvier occur in intervals between adjacent oligodendrocytes and facilitate saltatory conduction. Multiple sclerosis is a hereditary disorder that targets oligodendrocytes and involves a loss of myelin on axons in the CNS. Ependema is a simple cuboidal to columnar epithelium that lines ventricles and central canal of spinal cord. This layer of cells is in contact with CSF, which fills the ventricles and cushions the brain. The cells bear apical microvilli and cilia that project into the ventricular lumen. The choroid plexus produces CSF and consists of folds of vascularized pia mater covered by modified ependymal cells specialized for secretion and ion transport. The cerebrum consists of two hemispheres with an outer cortex of gray matter and a central region of white matter. In the cortex, different types of neurons and fibers are arranged into six ill-defined horizontal layers which differ in neuronal population density. Pyramidal and stellate neurons are most numerous. By LM, the molecular layer appears pale and pyramidal neurons and supportive glial cells sit in an interwoven network of neuronal and glial cell processes. The cerebellum is a bilaterally symmetric part of the brain with thin folds known as folia. It has a cortex of gray matter and a medullary center of white matter. The cortex has a uniform trilaminar organization with an outer molecular layer, inner layer of granule cells, and a middle monolayer of large Purkinje cells. Seen here is an immunocytochemical stain for calbindin a protein that is highly expressed in Purkinje cells. White matter of the spinal cord, unlike that in other CNS areas, is peripherally located. Gray matter occupies an H-shaped central region and has two dorsal and two ventral horns. White matter consists of ascending and descending tracts of myelinated fibers while well, gray matter consists chiefly of cell bodies and unmyelinated nerve fibers. Motor neurons are large cells located in the ventral horns of the gray matter. A peripheral nerve consists of one or more bundles or fascicles of nerve fibers. In peripheral nerves with more than one fascicle, an outer layer of dense connective tissue, the epineurium, binds fascicles together. Surrounding each fascicle is the perineurium, which has multiple layers of flattened cells with intervening connective tissue. Endoneurium is a loose connective tissue that surrounds and supports individual nerve fibers and their support cells. Schwann cells are the principal supporting cells of the PNS. They surround all nerve fibers, both unmyelinated and myelinated. Unmyelinated nerve fibers are typically grouped and held together by Schwann cells, whereas fast-conducting myelinated nerve fibers have single Schwann cells dedicated to segments along their length. By SEM, the components of a myelinated peripheral nerve fiber consist of the axoplasm in blue, surrounded by a myelin sheath of a Schwann cell. Collagen fibrils of the endoneurium and flattened perineurial cells are seen in the adjacent tissue. Ganglia are discrete aggregations of neuron bodies located outside the CNS and include sensory ganglia of cranial nerves, dorsal root ganglia of spinal nerves, and autonomic ganglia. They are invested by a dense connective tissue capsule continuous with the epineurium and perineurium. Ganglion cells are large and typically contain lipofuscin pigment in their cytoplasm. 
Surrounding the neurons is a peripheral rim of support cells called satellite cells and a network of nerve fibers. This concludes the overview of Chapter 5, Nervous Tissue. Thank you for watching.